Hello again and welcome to March West Junction Term Day. And uh, today I'm going to uh, let you have a look at my new wagon that I've uh, purchased from Getz. And it's the Revolution Trains uh, Nuclear Flask Carrier. So uh, grab yourself a drink and uh, we'll have a look at it on the workbench. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, we're over at the workbench, and uh, this is the wagon out of its packaging. Uh, the box is really nice, as you can see, and it's a FNA D uh, nuclear flash carrier. Now, this is the later version, as you can see, it's got DRS on there, produced in association with DRS. And uh, with this model, I think they come out in 2000. And 14 the real thing and uh they got rid of all the uh, older ones which is the model that backman do which is like brown and i've got one in a uh, similar livery to this which was a limited edition uh <coughs> the d information on the box if you're interested uh it's a rt-fnad-405 and i bought this direct from revolution trains at the show and I think it was uh, £32.50 I think that, that's how much it was I'm not, if I'm wrong just uh, bear with me but I'm sure it is if it's any different I'll put a comment below uh, what you get in the box is like the usual uh, plastic inserts to hold the model which uh, holds it quite snug it's wrapped in like a, a little polyphene as well the box is really sturdy and it's got a little cut out here to allow for uh, getting your fingers to pull it apart which was the original problem you had with some of the Cura style, Cura style stuff. <coughs> Instructions, you've got uh, this document showing you the wagon, showing you about the securing lugs and showing you, you can pose it open or closed and uh, there's nothing on the other side of that that's just plain and then there's a bit of a history about the prototype yeah there was 2014 the first in service and it shows you who constructed them and all that so i'll just take this up slowly so you can pause the screen just to see a bit of the information there's a bit about the warranty there and uh, acknowledgements to uh, DRS and NTS. <coughs> On the back, it's a breakdown of all the parts, and as you can see, it's quite comprehensive. The parts, it's quite a big parts list. So it shows 56 items, but some of them, obviously, there's two or four of them. But individual items is 56. <coughs> Uh, you get a little parts bag as well, and in there there's a, a tail lamp, some uh, dummy couplings, and some uh, air pipes. That's nice to add. And uh, right, we'll have a look at the wagon. So, the wagon is really smart. The handrails and the uh, printing is fantastic. I mean, these are really nice brake wheels as well on the... Uh, the bogies, uh, sprung buffered, kinematic, kinematic couplings. <laughs> uh, I've got to watch it because I don't want the lid to drop off. But look at the detail underneath there, with your air tanks and all this piping, is absolutely fantastic. So it's it's really nice and it runs really well. Uh, of when you push it on the uh, track it, it rolls that freely it's, it's really good it's not very heavy it's not as heavy as i thought it would be uh, but i think that at the bottom feels like it's metal uh, you got these little securing lugs at the side here that you flick out the way to take this back i'll try and attempt to do that now without damaging it and then that slide back to there and as you can see there's a, a weight inside there 
Let's try and give it a bit of strength. So you can pose it with it open. And uh, someone's going to do a 3D printed uh, flask, I should imagine, in the future. Because it's an ideal opportunity for someone to do that in the 3D printed world. And uh, so you can just pop it in there. Uh, I think these catches are a bit better than the Curiscale ones. They don't seem as fragile. So... <coughs> There's some nice uh, tread work. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, actually on uh, on the floor decking as well, which is uh, nice to see as well. And overall, it's a really nice wagon. I mean, the printing is absolutely fantastic. It's really good. And the wheels are very low profile on the uh, old flange there as well. There's a little tiny handle there as well. The, the detail is fantastic for the money and the good thing about these you can buy my, the, the singles whereas uh, with the Acuriscale you've got to buy a pack of two but the Acuriscale I've got one of them that's uh, got lighting for the tail lamp so uh, I'd say both of them are on par with each other I mean uh, the paint finish on this there's no overspray or anything and there's like silver on the top here and that it's really really good and I really recommend them. I'm only keeping one of them for the fleet. Uh, the Batman ones, I've got three. Two in the brown and one lot of size, like in a bluey green colour. It's darker than this. Like I say it was the limited edition, but they obviously they had the older version. So uh, fair play to them for carrying on with the projects, considering someone else was bringing them out as well. So, But overall, I really recommend it. Okay, that brings me to the end of this video. It's only just a quick look at it. Uh, there is other people that have done a more detailed review of the wagon. So look out for that on uh, YouTube. But I'll just give you a quick oversight of uh, what I think about the wagon. It's well worth the money. I mean, prices of wagons nowadays are getting really expensive. And for the detail that you get in this, I think it's fantastic. And uh, good value for money. So... Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And uh, as usual, if you're new to the channel, uh, you hear this many times when you go on someone else's YouTube, just uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon and notify all, and you'll be notified when I do my next video. So thank you very much for stopping by. Please keep safe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.